So today <coughs> is uh, June 14, uh, 2014. So to the Dhamma Sika and Dhamma Lava, the Dhamma talks here are uh, prepared to give you, give, give is uh, the Popa uh, uh, Puna Basus and um, Sanyoda Nigaya. Uh, Yaka Sanyoda. Uh, uh, the Dhamma name, uh, the Dhamma talk name is uh, Siaro mentioned the mother's uh, beloved, uh, beloved of a mother. That's the name of the Dhamma talk today. So this uh, Dhamma discourse is, was given in the Jitavana Monastery, the Sawati city. The audience is uh, the monks. The time of the, this Dhamma talk is uh, the night time. Day time, uh, normally after lunch, the Buddha gave Dhamma talk to lay devotees. And at night time, uh, the Buddha gave uh, Dhamma to the monks and nuns. The Dhamma talk are mostly related to Nibbana. Here, Nibbana means the cessation of mental defilement, such as uh, loba and uh, greed and anger, hatred, ignorance, delusion, and so on. And uh, during the Dhamma talk, the Buddha usually encouraged the monks, inspired the monks to put effort in the practice. And, uh, the monks and nuns, they pay attention to teaching uh, during the night time. So on this occasion, <coughs> the Buddha seated on the place uh, Given, uh, and then the Buddha started giving Dhamma talk related to Nibbana. So the time was uh, during the sunset. So when the sun set, uh, there is uh, the kind of the ghost or the hungry ghost. Uh, we call Yaga, Yaka or kind of deity. Uh, they wander us around. The sunset is the time for uh, human beings uh, wandering around. So one of the uh, the uh, human beings, family, mother and uh, two two children, one daughter and uh, one son. She carry a daughter in her arms and a son by his finger. She going around in search of food, looking for like the human waste or the leftover food here and there. And then she happened to arrive at the Jedawana Monastery. At that moment, she overheard the Buddha giving Dhamma talk. And then his son, uh, very hungry, he complaining, oh, I'm very hungry. Ma'am, I'm very hungry. And his daughter in her arms also crying uh, for hunger. So she really excited to listen to the Dhamma talk given by the Buddha. So on, that, on this occasion, the Buddha was surrounded by the monks with the uh, requisites uh, for uh, like the, the triple robes and uh, ambos. And then the Buddha called Ananda. Ananda uh, bring the robes and uh, bows. If you have any leftover food, 
uh, give away to the beings. And then the, the hungry ghost family, they overheard the Buddha uh, talking about the food sharing. So they are very eager or excited to, to uh, approach the Buddha. And at that time, there are many celestial beings, deity and uh, deva and uh, brahma, all over the world. They came over to the Buddha to seize the opportunity to listen to the Dhamma. The Buddha's uh, voice is a very sweet and a very powerful, and then uh, it cannot hear out of the audience. Because of the Buddha's virtue, the nobody can hear the Buddha's voice uh, if he or she is out of the audience. So to get a chance to listen to the Dharma talk, uh, you have to approach to the Buddha's audience close enough. So the the hungry ghost family, the hungry, and they approach to the Buddha's monastery, Ganaguti, and right in front of the Ganaguti, they are looking forward to uh, listening the Dhamma. So the audience of the Buddha is uh, pay full attention to the Buddha's Dhamma talk. Uh, they are sitting motionless. It's like the motionless candlelight. The, everybody quiet in the audience. So looking the, seeing the audience, uh, paying full attention to the Dhamma talk, the big audience. So the ghost, hungry ghost family, uh, they very excited to have a kind of food. Uh, maybe something to eat, uh, somebody throw away or drop down. And then this is a food for them to enjoy. So with the expectation to get a food, and uh, they initially approach to the Jitavana Monastery. And uh, when they approach the gate guardian, Deva, deity, he also allowed them uh, to get in because the gate guardian, uh, he was so compassionate and also he, knew, he knows this uh, family, the ghost family has a potential to gain uh, Dharma, to realize Dharma. So for this reason, they are allowed to get into the Jedavana Monastery. So in this way, the hungry ghost family uh, can get a chance to approach the Buddha's audience. They join the Buddha's audience. So the Buddha's Dhamma talk is a very meaningful and at the same time very sweet. And uh, it's get into one's deep into the audience heart through the skin and uh, flesh bone into the heart. And then at that time, her son hungry and uh, demanding for food and uh, daughter crying for food. So it's a very uh, disturbing, annoying for her to pay attention to the Buddha's teaching. So that's why she uh, trying to quiet two children in Pali. Duni Uttri Go Hohi, Duni Hodi Punabasu, and so on. My beloved daughter, please be quiet. 
and uh, my beloved, the Buddha Basu, my son, please be quiet. Let me give a chance. Uh, please give me a chance to listen the Dhamma talk given by the Buddha, the great teacher of the human and the devas. Please be quiet. So she continued uh, trying quiet uh, daughter and son. Uh, my darling, son and daughter, this is uh, the Dharma, which I, we didn't know and uh, so we could not get out of the, the bondage of the samsara life after life. So there is a bondage of the mental defilements which tied the all living beings to the sangha of birth and death. Now we get a chance to listen to the Dharma. So I'm really uh, yearning for uh, the chance to listen to the Dharma. I'm really fond of the Dharma. I deeply love the Dharma. So, so please don't disturb me. Please allow me to listen to the Dharma. So here she continued uh, quieting her children. He, she said to her children, I love my daughter and son. I love uh, your father, my husband. But uh, I love Dharma more than all of you. Because the Dharma will provide me with the liberation out of the sansara. So please, quiet. Please allow me to listen the Dharma. So I love my daughter and son and my husband. husband. But this kind of love make me uh, go around the sansara because of this kind of attachment. I was bound to the sangha or the life and death. I could not, liberate, could not be liberated out of the sansara. If we can get a chance to uh, do listen to the Dharma or to love the Dharma, and uh, we can be liberated out of the, the sangha of the birth and death, or uh, hunger and uh, dust, and uh, we can experience the mega enlightenment. So for these reasons, I love the Dharma than anybody else. The hungry ghost, she, she continued to explaining the, why she loved the Dharma. My daughter and son, she said to her children, in this world, all living beings are avoidably in the trouble of the old age, sickness, and death. These are unavoidable destiny, all living beings. It's a really suffering. Now the Buddha is teaching the Dhamma, which can help us to overcome this torturous cycle of the birth and death, O H, birth and, and birth, O H, and death. So the Buddha himself discovered this Dharma and then he shared us this Dharma. So this kind of Dharma can help us to liberate, to be liberated out of the, all kinds of the suffering. So, my beloved daughter and son, 
do not be uh, disturbing or do not be demanding and uh, crying, I am hungry and uh, thirsty, uh, do not disturb me that much. Please allow me to listen to the Buddha's Dhamma. Then the son uh, Buddha Basu, uh, he understood what the mother means, so he replied, Ma'am, so we will be quiet, we will don't disturb you, uh, we will happy you enjoy the, uh, you listen to the Buddha's teaching, which leads you to the liberation. Because of the failure to lessen such uh, dharma, uh, we are going round and around the, the sangha of birth and death. So now you get a chance to lessen to the dharma. So me and my sister Audra uh, won't, won't disturb you, so, so that you can pay full attention to the Buddha's teaching. So the son, she, he is a very good boy, and uh, he said, Man, you listen to Dhamma. Listen to Dhamma is uh, very beneficial to all of us. If the Dhamma can provide us the, the blissful life, without any hunger or thirst. So the lesson in Dhamma is uh, worthy. So we won't disturb you. So please listen carefully to the Dhamma so that we all of us can be liberated the, the thirst and uh, hunger. So the sun continued, the beings all living beings, celestial or human beings, the deluded. So they cannot experience the Dhamma. Now the Buddha, the blessed one, with the five kinds of eyes, given the Dhamma. So you listen to the Dhamma, it is a great opportunity for all of us. Here are the five eyes. The Buddha has five kinds of eyes. Buddha eyes, Dhamma eyes, and wisdom eyes, and Samanda Jaku. This is also certain kinds of the wisdom, and uh, it's called omniscience knowledge. And uh, Mantha Saku is a kind of the uh, naked eyes, our, our <coughs> normal, regular eyes. So in this way, the Buddha has uh, uh, the Buddha is known to have the five kinds of eyes. So the blessed one with the five eyes, he is given a teaching dharma to all living beings on the thirty-one plane. So the ma'am, you try to listen to the dharma, we won't disturb you. So the Buddha always give the Dhamma related to four, four noble truths. According to the audience uh, personalities and according to the, the listeners, the personality and uh, tendency and uh, uh, spiritual background. So now the Buddha saw this uh, ghost family and uh, having the potential for Dharma enlightenment. So referring to this family, the Buddha expounded four noble truths, uh, Dukkha Sajya, the truth of suffering, and the true cause of the suffering, and then the cessation of suffering, and the path that lead to the cessation of suffering. So the Buddha expounded for noble truth. And this family, the ghost family, they pay full attention to the Dharma. 
And then in the end of the Dhamma, the mother Udra and the son Punabasu, they became enlightened, they attained the first stage of enlightenment, uh, Sota Pana, Sota Padi Mega. So as a result of the Sota Padi Mega, they have unshakable faith in Tupajan, Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. And also they, they are virtue, the morality is flawless. So that's uh, the quality of Sotapati Mega, the first stage of the enlightenment. And also they are no longer liable to be reborn in the woeful state. These are benefits they gain from the uh, Sotapati Mega. Unfortunately, the young daughter, she was so too young to appreciate, to understand the Dharma. So she's uh, not enlightened, but uh, all the family, the mother and uh, two children, they, uh, they experience the benefits of the Dharma, and uh, their life status uh, become the higher. So having been enlightened, the mother ghost, the Odra, she mentioned her appreciation of the daughter and the son silence, uh, quietness, thanks to the quietness of the daughter and the son. So she obtained the first stage of enlightenment. So she told to her son and her daughter, Thank you, my son and daughter. You are very smart and a very good children. You allow me to listen to the Buddha's Dharma. So we all gain benefit from the Dharma. So the mother goes, she uh, wish her children happiness. So she said, May you be well and happy, my daughter and son. We all now be liberated out of the cycle of suffering. Because we <coughs> came breakthrough into the Four Noble Truth. Being realized, having realized Four Noble Truth, we get out of the sansara, the torture, sangha of birth and death. So may my children be well and happy. Now we all get liberated out of the suffering. So before they attain the enlightenment, <coughs> these uh, families, members, the Odra and then two uh, children. Uh, they encounter several kinds of difficulties and uh, hardship. This, they, are, they were inflicted with uh, several kinds of diseases, including the, the, itch, the skin uh, itchiness, or skin diseases all over the body. So after having been enlightened. They are no longer hungry or dusty. They got a chance to enjoy the divine food, the very delicious uh, celestial food. And then they enjoy a very blissful life together with the family member. And as a guardian devas, they got uh, a chance to live in a big tree nearby in Buddha's monastery. So f more importantly, they got a chance to see the Buddha all the time. And also they get a chance to listen to the Buddha's teaching because they live a tree nearby in the Buddha's monastery. So these are benefits 
they gain from the Dharma. So that's why the, our great teacher, Venerable Bainda Rama Siaro, he defined the word Dharma as the, the Dharma as a refuge for all living beings to take in. And the Dharma is defined as uh, the phenomena that uplift the quality of life for all living beings, human or devas. This is a definition made according to the Pali text by Venerable Panidara Masyaro. So all the living beings in the world uh, spend their time enjoying just sensual pleasure. So people, all, or all living beings, they are always hungry for sensual pleasure. They are hungry and thirsty all the time, like a hungry ghost or thirsty ghost. And then they are afflicted. We are all afflicted by the uh, mental defilements, greed, anger, hatred, and so on. So in the U.S., there are very rare chance to listen to the Buddha's teaching, and very difficult for a teacher to get into the U.S. And many, very few people are interested in the Dharma. So we cannot see the truth or we cannot uh, get a chance to, to experience Dharma. It's a very rare chance to listen to the Dharma. Uh, so Sadama Sawanam Dolabang, rare is uh, a chance to listen to Dharma. Especially in the, the advanced uh, developed country like in the US. So the for learning the Puna Basu Soda, according to the Puna Basu Soda, uh, just expounded by Seattle. So we Seattle wish we are able to choose uh, the one we should love most, uh, the one we should love more than anyone else. Which one is uh, the one we love most among others? So of course, it, is, uh, it should be Dharma. So following the guideline given by this Puna Basu Soda, uh, which is to be able to appreciate the chance or opportunity to listen Buddha teaching and uh, the chance or the opportunity to practice the Dharma that can lead us to mega phala enlightenment. So in conclusion, Sierra wish uh, all of us to be able to practice the Dharma, able to appreciate the, the Dharma until we attain the enlightenment like the Uttara family. That's all for today.